Okay, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to join two pieces of paper together with the Chinese character paper. And here's the rubric of how you get an A. And these should already be painted. Um, as you can see, this is just kind of done, but these should be painted like this. But I'm just going to show you how to join these. First of all, you should uh, number your um, paper. So like one, two, three, four, five. And this matches up 21 to 21. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the yarn attached to the, the spool and I'm going to thread through one end, kind of like tying a shoe. And then I'm going to come through on the other side. Okay. And now I'm going to come cross over. Cross over. And it looks kind of crazy, but you are doing it correctly. Like this. And you know what I'm going to do to make life a lot easier for myself? I'm going to pull out a bunch and I'm going to thread this all the way through. Let me start over. Okay, I'm going to pull this through. And I'm going to take this tail. And I'm going to tie a knot. So I tie once. I'm going to bring this around like that. Two. Flip the flip the tail into the hole and then tie and that's a knot. If you want to make sure it's really tied you can do that again flip that into the hole like that and then tie. Okay? Then then you're going to take the, the other side and my Jay, will you hand me those scissors? What I would do so not, is not to confuse you is take this tail and just cut it. All right. You see how this tail is a little frayed? I'm just going to cut that. All right. And I'm going to thread this like a shoelace. Just pull that through all the way okay and now I'm gonna take my tail straight again so I'm gonna cut it and now I'm gonna go under thread it through I'm gonna trim this a little bit more so you, you can kind of see I'm gonna come under again thread it through Blend that other one. And it's nice to have these numbered so that way you know that you're not missing a hole. And you want to keep it nice and tight. Once you get the hang of it, it's kind of like riding a bike. Get used to it. And isn't that nice that that's tied so you don't have to worry about it? Oh, 
This kind of artwork is called woven textiles, working with yarn and fabric. Now, let's just say you run out of yarn. That, that does happen. So let's just say, I'm just going to cut this, like, uh-oh, I've run out of yarn. Now what? Okay. So you get another piece of yarn, and you're going to marry these two together. So I'm going to tie once, and then I'm going to tie twice. And I'm going to do a double knot. So I have a knot here. I'm going to do another knot. Okay, and then I'm going to give it a little haircut. And now I've connected so I can continue on. It's okay. Now, I have an issue here. This hole is ripped. That's okay. I'm going to skip it. I'm just going to skip it. So I turned my mistake into a masterpiece. That's okay. Oh, no, 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 no. So why are the two black did? Remember we, you were going to do all oh, yeah. black and gray? So I'm doing all black. Oh, You're doing a gray, gray scale. Okay. Oh, yeah. So all even though these numbers do not match up, it's okay. It's still going to work out. Look at, look at how nice and tight that is. That's important. Nice and tight. And you say to yourself, why, why? Okay, so if I flip it over, it's going to be like this. It's gonna be upright. Okay. Just to kind of give you the bigger picture. Uh-oh, that one broke too. That's okay. I'm going to skip it. Um, I love how nice and kind we are. Thank you. And I've cut this hole a little close, but I'm going to try and be careful as to not break that hole. And I'm successful. So maybe be mindful when you're punching your holes to not get it too close to the edge. Like if I had to critique myself what to do better, that's what I would do. Not punch them too close to the edge. Okay, we are almost to the end. 
and I will show you the last step which is tying a knot at the end okay so that's the end okay now I'm gonna cut some of this extra all right then I'm gonna take this and wrap it around the first string right here wrap it underneath this is a single knot tie once tie once and then we're gonna loop it again create a hole flip it through the hole and tie twice let me do that again get closer to it there we go and then I'm gonna cut this and that's 